Now to the arrest in the Gilgo Beach serial killings and the intense police work to find the suspected murderer. Investigators tracking disposable cell phones called burner phones, fake email accounts, and DNA found in discarded pizza box to finally arrest their suspect, Rex Uerman. The 59-year-old architect and married father of two now charged with killing three women, and he is the prime suspect in the murder of a fourth. He's now being held without bail. We have several reports tonight. Darla Miles live in Midtown outside the office where Uriman was taken into custody last night. Kristen Thorne live in Massapequa Park where Uriman lived on a normally quiet, unassuming block. But we begin with Jim Dolan live in Yapang where officials just wrapped up a news conference on today's arrest. Jim. Dave, prosecutors say 59-year-old Rex Hewerman used a burner cell phone. He had several of them to uh, track what they called uh, sadistic, sadistic torture pornography on the Internet and also to look for child pornography. He is the father of two children, and he's charged now with the murders of three young women whose bodies were found along Gilgo Beach more than a decade ago. A pizza crust and the DNA found there was the final piece of evidence that led at last to this. Rex Sherman is a demon that walks among us, a predator that ruined families. And if not for the members of this task force, he would still be on the streets today. Police announced an arrest in the murders of three of the women whose bodies were found along Gilgo Beach in Suffolk County in 2010 and 2011. What do you think uh, is the most impor important qualities a person uh, in, your, in your position? <sighs> Patience. Rex Hewerman, a husband I, 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 and father of that. two children <laughs> yeah. who lives in Massapequa <laughs> Park, was arrested last night near his Manhattan architectural office and charged with three counts of murder. It's extremely circumstantial in nature. Uh, in terms of speaking to my client, the only thing I can tell you that he did say uh, as he was in tears was, I didn't do this. The Gilgo Beach serial killings gripped the nation. In all, 11 bodies were found along the beach there, but four of the bodies were found wrapped in burlap, and a single serial killer was always considered responsible for at least those. Hewerman is charged with the murders of 24-year-old Melissa Bartholomew, 22-year-old Megan Waterman, and 27-year-old Amber Lynn Costello. He is the chief suspect in the murder of Maureen Baynard Barnes, but he is not yet charged with that murder. All were thought to be sex workers at the time of their deaths. The families of some of the other Gilgo Beach victims celebrated the news of an arrest today. Finally, something has been done. And finally, somebody has been caught. The case was cracked finally with the DNA from the pizza crust, but also when the FBI got involved, they were able to track massive amounts of cell phone data from the area. Hewerman has been under the scrutiny of investigators for several weeks. There was a lot of uh, torture, uh, porn, and, and uh, um, what you would consider, uh, you know, uh, um, depictions of women uh, being abused, uh, being raped, and being killed. Hewerman pleaded not guilty today. He will remain in jail at least until the trial. We mentioned the burner phones. Prosecutors say Hewerman used one of those phones to track the Gilgo Beach investigation. Searching on the internet at one point, why hasn't the Long Island serial killer been found? Prosecutors say now he has.